Hi, good morning, Maria Araceli. Good morning. Hi, Maria Araceli, can you hear me? Hola. Mariana said, I cannot hear you. Maybe your microphone is not plugged right? Your earphones or something? Hi. Ah, I can hear you now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today, Maria Araceli? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Tired? No sé qué tenía esta cosa. <laughs> it's the morning. <laughs> it's too early in the morning. <laughs> Very good. Morning. Good. good morning, Blanca. Good morning, Sofia. How are you, girls? Fine. Excellent. Nice to have you in class. All right. So, girls, we're going to wait a little bit for the other um, classmates to join the class because remember that um, at the end of yesterday's class, we were working on our stories, right? So um, I'm going to wait a little bit longer for them to come in so we can start reading the stories. Were you able to finish your stories from yesterday? Uh, no. Yes. Ah, Sofia, very good. Sofia, you did. All right. That's okay. Maria Celia and Blanca, did you finish? No, I know. Okay, you didn't finish. That's okay. I mean, we're going to see what about the rest of them. If not, not everybody's finished, then I can give you some time to finish. Okay, so because I want to, I want to, I want to hear your stories. Okay. Okay. Very good. Hi, Franklin. Good morning. Hi, teacher. Hi, morning. how are you? Good morning. Fine. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Hi, Carlita. Thank you. Hi, Carla. Joanna. Hi, hi, good morning. Good morning, how are you today? I'm very tired. Tired. <laughs> I know, it's Wednesday, all right. Do you guys like go to sleep late or not so late? Yeah. Kind of? Not so late, no, okay. not so late. But, but. <laughs> yesterday, my, my day in the world is, was... Very heavy? Uh, very, very heavy, very okay. hard. Yeah. yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, I imagine. All right, very good. Hi, I was money. Yeah, no kidding, we all need vacation. <laughs> good morning, how are you, Exa? Very fine. Excellent, I'm glad to hear that, very good. Okay, guys, so today, uh, I was just telling your classmates, Exa and Gabby, they just joined in. I'm going to wait a little longer so we can see if everybody was able to finish their stories yesterday, okay? So we can hear them. In case not everybody finished, I'm going to give them like, I don't know, a couple of minutes so they can finish and then we can hear their stories, okay? Everybody's stories, okay? So that's the plan. Hi, Brenda. Good morning. Okay, so yeah, uh, yesterday I told you guys that today we're going to begin a new topic, okay? So we're not going to talk about past progressive or past or simple past anymore. We're not going to talk about when and while. We're going to be talking about the present perfect continuous, all right? That's the tense that we need to talk about today, all right? So that is, of course, on the platform, okay? So we're not going to go, I'm going to show you the platform because of the conversation, but we're not going to listen to it. I want you to read it, okay? And then I'll take you through the explanation. But before that, guys, yesterday I received the uh, report on your progress on the platform, okay? And we were checking that not everybody has been working on the platform. And I need you guys 
to start working on the platform. I know Exa has, I know Giovanni has, and a couple of girls too, but there are some people that they haven't worked anything, not section one, not section two. And to this like date, you guys should have at least finished section one and half of section two. Okay, so please, please, please work on your platform. That is very important. I know you're very busy, all right, but try to work a little bit on it. And if you need help, let me know, okay? Please, guys, can we do that? Yeah? I know that uh, some of you are like already advancing and, they, and you guys are actually ahead, but some of you haven't done anything, okay? So that worries us, okay? So in case you need any help, let me know. Okay, and if you like EXA or like um, last time, I think one of the girls found an error on the platform, let me know and I will gladly fix it, okay? And then the, uh, so we can work on that. So in case you have any questions, let me know about that. All right, so guys, uh, as I said, we're gonna talk about present perfect continuous, all right? Um, do you know about it? What do you know about that tense? Tell me, any ideas on that tense? on the usage, the structure, have you heard it, have you used it? Any ideas on that? Any ideas on present perfect continuous? It's too early in the morning to think about grammar structures. <laughs> All right. Okay. Don't worry about it. I'm going to, I'm going to show it to you anyway. Okay. So I'm going to take you right now to the platform to see the conversation. Okay. We're not going to listen to it. I just want you to see it. All right. Hi, Eliana. Good morning. So we're going to see it. And then I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Okay. So here we have, can you guys see the uh, conversation? Can you guys see the conversation? Hello. Hello. Yes. yes. Excellent. Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. There, okay. Let's see. So here we have two people. We have Pete and Gina. All right. And they are talking. So I want maybe um, Franklin, you can be Pete. And uh, Ileana, can you be Gina? Can you just read it? And then the rest of you guys, I want you to pay attention to the tense that we're using or the tenses that are using in this conversation. All right. So Franklin, can you be Pete? And Eliana, can you be Gina? Thank you, yes. Okay. Um, okay. Hey Gina, I haven't I haven't seen you in age. In ages, uh, in ages. In ages, ages. Ages, mm -hmm. Ages, uh, what have you been doing lately? Lately, 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 lately yes. Uh, nothing Thank exciting. You. Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Yeah. And in world, that's exciting. Exciting. That's exciting. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, what about you? And uh, well, uh, I I've, I've only been spending money. I am putting a full time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, graduate, but I haven't been getting any work. I need, I have some, um, almost out of money. All right, very good, thank you, all right. I want some two other people to read it. Someone else can be Pete and someone else can be Gina, and then we're gonna check on uh, pronunciation, meaning, and then I will ask you about the tenses that are going on here. Two more volunteers, please. I can. I can begin. All right, perfect. Okay, so guys, the girls, take it away. Start reading them. Thank you. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in age. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I have been working two years for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. 
Well, that's that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I only been spending money. I pursued a full time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. <laughs> All right, very good. So this guy's going broke here. Okay, so very good. Um, pronunciation, guys, do you want me to pronounce any of the words? Let's go first with pronunciation, then with meaning, and then I will ask you a question. Anything? Morning, teacher. Uh, Good morning, yes. Portrait. I don't know. Uh, this one right here? Uh, yes. Pursuing. 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 Pursuing, yes. Like following. All right. I've been following a full time job. I'm pursuing a full time job or a, a full time modeling career. All right. Like I'm, I'm aiming for it, I'm working for it. All right, when you say I'm pursuing my dream, is that you're following your dream, okay? Okay. All right, very good. Another one, guys, anything else for the rest of you? Good morning, Giovanni, good morning. Uh, I think someone else came in. All right, anybody else, guys? Mm. All okay. All right, out very good. Out of yes. money? Out of money, yes. That means that you have no money. When you say, ah, oh, Jessica, I'm out of money, that means that you have like, I don't know, very little money, like $10, $5, and no more money, okay? Almost broke. When you say, oh, no, I'm broke, all right? That's when you say, I'm, I'm almost out of money. I have a little bit, but not so much, okay? Okay. All right, very good. Do you guys understand the expression, I haven't seen you in ages? Do you understand that expression? Yes. All right, very good. So when you finally meet someone, maybe your childhood friend or maybe a student, I mean, a classmate from university, I say, oh my goodness, I haven't seen you in ages. I haven't seen you in a long time. All right, ages, that would be the pronunciation, all right? Let's see, remember that this is exciting, all right? This one right here, nothing exciting. Uh, let me see, I'm saving up money. Saving up is a compound verb, you're saving it up, all right? And for a trip to Morocco, all right, let's see the other one. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career, really. How long have you been modeling? Okay, this one, guys, please be careful with these pronunciations of these verbs, graduated. All right, you need to be careful with the past tenses. In this case, it's not a past, well, yeah. Since I graduated, yeah, you have to be careful with the ED endings, okay? It's not graduate, it's not, I don't know what, the, what other pronunciation can be, but it's graduated, all right? Since I graduated, all right? But I haven't been a, uh, getting any work. I need a job soon, all right? I'm almost out of money, okay? I'm going broke, okay. Guys, any, anybody else has a question? No, everybody's okay with it? No, okay, perfect. Okay, so here, this is the conversation. Can you tell me which tense are they using? Which tense are they talking about here? Anybody? As participle. Present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous, yes. Oh. And someone said past participle, yes, because um, we're using it, right? Remember that when you make the, the, the perfect tenses, you need to use the, uh, the past participle, okay? So, which is good. All right, now, can you tell me, can you find one sentence where you can actually see the present perfect continuous going on? Where is it? Give me one example. Where is it? Find one sentence, any sentence. I've been working to jobs. Excellent. I've been working two jobs, all right? That's where uh, Gina says it, right? I've been working two jobs. Very good. Another one, thank you. Another one, can you find another one? I've only been spending money. <laughs> Very good, I've only been spending money. Thank you, another one. I haven't seen you in age. Ah, no, that's not a pre a present perfect continuous. That's present perfect. All right, very good, but that's good because today we're going to be talking about the difference between those two, Juliana. Very good. Anybody else? 
There's a question there. Can you see How the question? How long have you been modeling? Excellent. How long have you been modeling? Very good. There's another question there. Find another question. What have you been doing lately? Perfect. What have you been doing lately? Very good. I think that's the only, the, those are the only ones. Yep, very good. Okay, so here, guys, we are working on a, the present perfect continuous. All right, so this is the tense that we're going to be talking about. And as Ileana discovered, all right, there's also a sentence right at the beginning that it looks like the present perfect continuous because it belongs to the family of the perfect tenses, but it's not continuous, it's the simple one. Okay, the present perfect simple, let's say, all right? So here we're talking about these two tenses, but we're going to focus our attention on the present perfect continuous, but we need to know the difference, okay? All right, very good. So I'm gonna take you back, I'm gonna stop sharing this. I'm gonna take you to the presentation I have for you. All right, remember that after class, I will send the presentation today. Yesterday, I didn't send it because it was just a review, all right? Uh, in a little later, guys, we're going to uh, check the uh, stories. I haven't forgotten, okay? All right, very good. So here, this is what I have for you today. Just let me get it here first. I need to, um... okay, hold on. Very good. Okay. So here we go. This is what I have for you today, present perfect continuous or pre present perfect progressive is the same, all right? So this is the like the topic that we're talking about today. Again, don't worry, tomorrow we'll talk a little bit more about this, okay? We usually take two days to talk about a topic. It's not only like one day. Today is the intro, all right? We go over it, we do some exercises, and tomorrow we review it, okay? To see if you have any questions. All right, present perfect continuous, verb form. Okay, let's see. Sophia, can you please read this for me? Okay, verb form. Hmm? We form the present perfect continuous with have, has, plus, been, plus, present participle. Yes, ENG. Hmm? Bob, health. Well, Bob, uh -huh. health it's a name, yes. Has been doing a lot of work for charity since the mid 80s. All right. What on earth have you been doing to that child? Have, has, is an auxil auxiliary. An auxiliary. auxiliary, yes, very good. All right, very good, thank you. Okay, so here, guys, we're talking about um, the verb form of this tense, okay? To form it, we need, the, uh, to form the present continuous, we need either have or has, depending on what? What would that depend on? Have or has would, de would depend on what? The person. Yes, the person, the subject, all right? The person that we're talking about, all right? So if I say I, is have. If I say we, you, they, is have, all right? If I say he, she, it, is has. Or if I say Giovanni, if I say Ileana, if I say my husband, has, all right? So that depends on that. So I say I have, have or has, plus been, all right? plus present participle, that means the, uh, the verb with ing, all right? So, for example, in this one we say, Bob Weldoff has been doing a lot of work for charity since the mid 80s, okay? So here we have has, because we're talking about he, all right? Then we have been, because it's the present perfect progressive or continuous tense, all right? So this is the form of the verb be, in the perfect tenses, and then we need this verb with ing, which is called the present participle, okay? So in this one, we're going to use a participle, yes, but the present form, which is the ing one, all right? So uh, he has been doing a lot of work for charity since the mid 80s. The other one, you say, oh my God, what on earth? What have you been doing to that child, all right? You have been spoiling them. If you notice, this is a question, but it's the same structure. Have, and then because it's a question, you switch it. Have you been plus doing, and then uh, the rest of your complement. Have or has, 
they are the auxiliary again because you're talking about a, a, a perfect tense. In this case, the present perfect continuous. Do you have any questions so far with the structure? No, no questions? No. Okay, thank you. All right, let's continue here. Here we have this. All right, there you see. Okay, see. Present, again, this is like a chart. It's the same thing of uh, what we just read, but I want to show you this, all right? The present perfect. You have have or has, all right? Plus the uh, to be verb, but in the perfect tenses, all right? And then the verb in the present, um, the, the present participle, which is the ing, all right? So here we have what we just, uh, we were just saying, I have been studying English for two years, all right? I have been working at this company for one year, all right? So here, if you notice, according to my sentences, if I say, for example, I have been teaching English for 22 years, which is true, did, have I stopped teaching or do I continue teaching? You continue. Yes. All right. I continue teaching. That's why it's present perfect progressive because the action keeps on happening. All right. And that this is what we're going to see. All right. The usage of, hold on, I can see this here. The usage, it says ongoing states and actions. When I say ongoing, that means that the activity keeps on happening. It keeps going. All right. So in English, we say ongoing states and actions. All right. Uh, let's see, someone to read this one for me. We use the present, someone to read that. Anybody wants to read that, please? Uh, uh, me, you okay. Mm. Carlita. Okay, Carlita, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, use ongoing states and actions. We use the present perfect continuous to talk about a uh, stake or action which began in the past and is still continuing or has just finished. You look hot, yes. I, I have been running, uh, where have you been? I've been talking to Jenny, how long you been learning English? All right, very good, thank you, okay. So here we have, this is like, pretty much the core of the information here, okay? We use the present perfect continuous when? Ah, to talk about a state or action which began in the past. If I tell you I have been teaching for 22 years, I already began 22 years ago, all right? It began at a point in the past, okay? But it's still continuing. In my case, I'm still teaching, all right? So I began 22 years ago, and like now I'm still teaching it, all right? So it's an action that is ongoing or has just finished, but just like a minute ago, all right? So in my example, it does not apply because I'm still teaching. So this uh, usage will apply to the first one, an action that began in the past and is still continuing. If I ask you, how long have you been learning English? All right, probably you will tell me, ah, Jessica, I've been studying English or I've been learning English for six months. All right, have you stopped? No, you're still here. All right, you're still learning. You're still in class. All right, so that means that you began in January, let's say. All right, and all the quarantine you have been studying or you have been learning all this whole year. Have you stopped? No, yet. All right, so that's like, the, this is the main reason or the main usage of these tense. Do you have any questions so far? No questions? I will ask you questions then. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, if you notice on these examples, I, for example, you come in and you're like, oh my goodness, and you're all sweaty. And I say, oh my goodness, you look hot. And you say, yeah, I be, I, I've been running. Right, you just stopped. You came into the house. You're not running in the house anymore. You stopped a second ago outside. And then you say, oh, I've been running. That's why I'm very hot. Ah, okay. So it's an activity that just finished a minute ago. That's it. Okay. I say, where have you been? 
and you say, oh, I've been talking to Jenny. I just finished talking to her like two seconds ago. And she was there outside. I'm like, ah, okay, very good. All right, and this one, how long have you been learning English? A, 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 a state or an action is still happening, okay? Actions, let's see, someone else to read this one for me. Ongoing states and actions. The simple form of the present perfect often focus on the fact that an action is completed. Result is important while the continuous focus on the fact that is this still happening. Simple, I be learned how to play checks. And I can play checks now and continue. I've been learning how to play chess. Thank you. I'm still learning it. Okay, so here, guys. If you were asking, okay, Jessica, but when do I use the present perfect simple and when do I use the present perfect continuous is right here. This is the explanation that you need to understand, okay? It says, number one, the simple form of the present perfect often focuses on the fact that an action is completed. The result is important, okay? That's when you use the present perfect. And when do I use the present perfect continuous? Ah. The present perfect continuous focuses on the fact that it is still happening. All right, so that, that's like the difference. Here on the first example, it says, I've learned how to play chess. All right, the result is important. I know how to play chess now. All right, I've learned it and I stopped in a way. In the continuous, it says, I've been learning how to play chess. I'm still learning. You see the difference between those two sentences? Guys, can you, can you tell the difference between those two sentences? Do you actually see the difference? Yes. Yeah? Uh, for of the verb in the be. Uh-huh. So, one sentence is done and the other con uh, continues? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. How do you know that the, which one is which? Because of this, exactly what you said, the being here. This gives you the idea that it's a continuous tense. In this case, the present perfect continuous. In this one, you're not using been, you're just using have. I have learned, all right? So here we have have, and here we have have, perfect. Here we have learned the past participle, and here we have the present participle because we're using been, which gives me the connotation or gives me the idea that is the continuous tense, all right? In this one, the activity is not done yet. You're still doing it. In this one, you already finished. You have learned to, how to play chess. Maybe yesterday, all right? But you have already learned. Yes? Yes, guys? Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Okay, please ask me questions in case you think I'm going too fast. Or if you want me to repeat again, tomorrow we'll see this again. So don't worry if you have not really understood everything. Let's see here. All right, let's see. Focuses, I'm just, uh, someone else to read this for me. Can someone else read this one? Mm -hmm. Continues to focus on um, action itself. Okay. Example, I yes. must have a bath. I've been gardening. I've, mm -hmm. I've been gardening all afternoon. I've planted a lot of new rose bushes. I, I've planted a lot of new rose uh, bushes. All right, very good. So here, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we need to focus. Here we have two focuses on the situation and the action. All right, we use the continuous to focus on the action. All right. So the first one, it says, I must have a bath, all right? I've been gardening all day, so I, I'm all covered with mud, you know? I, I'm kind of like filthy here, all right? So I need to focus on the activity, which is that I've been gardening all afternoon and I need to take a shower. The other one, I have planted a lot of new rose but, uh, bushes, all right? So here, you're focusing on the result, which is what? That I have planted many flowers. Okay, so you see those two different sentences going on here. Let's see another example. All right, focuses on a situation or action. Sorry about the mess. I've been painting the house. You focus on the activity. I've been painting it. All right, 
I painted two rooms since lunchtime. So you have the results. You already have these two rooms painted, all right? Now, the other one, she's been reading your book. Focus on the activity. She has been, Jessica has been reading your book since this morning, all right? And she's still reading it. All right, so the activity is important. What is Jessica, what has Jessica been doing? She has been reading your book. All right, ah, okay. She has read 100 pages so far. So what is the result? That I have read 100 pages, okay? And probably I have stopped. The other one, we have been learning irregular verbs all afternoon, all right? So the, the activity is that we have been learning these are, are regular verbs, okay? And the other one, you say, we have learned all of them. The result is that now you know 100 verbs, okay? Do you guys understand those examples? Yes, understand. Okay, very good. Okay, let's continue here. Let's see. Another usage of the, um, of the uh, present perfect continuous, it, not, it doesn't only um, focus its attention to the action, but it also focuses the attention on the time, all right, on how long, the duration of it, okay? So we say we use the continuous to focus on how long something has been in progress, all right? Um, someone else can continue reading the examples, please. How long have you been waiting for me? Mm -hmm. uh, how long have they been living next door to you? Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing tennis? It has been snowing all day. What man, what uh, that man has been standing on the corner all day. All right, very good, thank you. Here. If you notice on the examples, well, when we have the questions, it's easier, all right? But when you have like sentences, we can always see this, the duration of it or the time that we're talking about, okay? So here it says, how long have you been waiting for me? And you say, oh, I've been waiting for you like for two hours, all right? Oops, I'm sorry you waited so long, all right? How long have they been living next door to you? Oh, they have lived, they have been living here forever. All right, how long have you been playing tennis? All right, so here I'm talking about, I wanna know how long, for a year, for two years, for a week, for how many days, all right? It has been snowing all day. Come on, like the, the past week, right? It has been raining, I don't know that. We should have said that last week, all right? It has been raining all week, all right? Now it stops, so we say it rained all week. Uh, the man has been standing on the corner for how long? How long has been this man standing on the corner for? All day. All day, that's right. He has been there all day, all right? Let's continue here. Again, guys, we can use since and we can use for for the uh, present perfect continuous. Since, it, mean, it refers to a point in time. She has been writing letters since breakfast, okay? And employment has been rising steadily since 2006. I've been living here since January, all right? I've been teaching this class. I have been teaching this class for seven days about, all right? So I'm still teaching it, okay? So you know for how long, and the activity is important, okay? Here we can use for, for a period of time. I have been learning how to play chess for three years now. He has been sleeping for 10 hours. We have been traveling for two months, all right? So here we can use either since or for to help us express the duration of these activities, okay? All right, questions? Questions, guys, no questions? Okay, no. all right, very good. So verbs not used with, continue, with the continuous tense. Remember last time when we were talking about the past continuous, I said that there are verbs that are like non-action verbs and they're stated verbs. Well, the same thing happens here. There are verbs that you cannot use in the present perfect continuous tense because they cannot be with the ing form, okay? For example, be, belong, consist of, Adapt, exist, know, like, love, 
I have been loving you, it's kind of weird. Uh, adoring you, all right, believe, hate, have, like when it means own, mean, need, possess, seem, think, understand, and want. Are not normally used in the continuous tenses, you use them on the simple tenses. So you can use it for the present perfect, but maybe not for the present perfect continuous, okay? Because they are stadia verbs and they don't represent an action. They represent a state, a sense, all right? So that's why you cannot have them on the continuous tenses. All right. Uh, for example, here, I ha I've had a pain in my stomach since I got up this morning. I've been here since Tuesday. How long have you had your car? How long have you known Jane? So here, if you notice, all of these um, sentences, they are not, I mean, this one right here, how long have you, how long have you known? These are in the simple tenses because you're talking about known and you're talking about had that means possession, all right? Let's see. Uh, in summary, guys, I'm about to finish. I will like be quiet soon. Uh, present perfect is the result, all right? And present perfect continuous is the activity. That's like the main difference between those two, okay? So now like you know a little bit about, okay, so what is the difference between the present perfect simple and the present perfect continuous? This is the main reason, all right? One is about the activity and the duration and the other one is about the result, okay? Remember the present perfect continuous uh, is an action that began in the past and is still going on or just finished, okay? Excellent. Here. All right, very good. So here, I'm just gonna give you this here. Uh -huh. So now it's for you to practice with me. All right, so we're gonna look at the pictures. Exa, you're the first, okay? That's because you're like after, like the first picture here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you this picture, Exa. Hold on, this one right here. I want you to come up with a sentence using present perfect continuous. Based on the picture, what, what can you come up with, Exa? I don't understand the picture. <laughs> it's the road, the street, and it's wet. Very wet, like puddles and mud. It's be, being finished, right? No, it's being raining. Le falta algo ahí nada más hexa. El auxiliar le falta. You're just missing that. It. It has. Excellent. Has. has. It has. has. It has been raining on the street. Excellent. Very good. It has been raining on the street, on the in Salvador, in my city, right? Wherever it has been raining. Very good. Look, you read my sentence. <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> Iliana. Next one, Iliana. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh no, Iliana. It's a suitcase. Interesting sentence. Uh, I I have been traveling All right. this year. Okay, you've been traveling this year. All right. In this case, I'm just gonna move it so you can. I don't know if you can see it. They have been traveling. That's okay. So you did not read my sentence. <laughs> All right. Very good. Dalila. Next one, Dalila. Uh huh. What happened to her? Dalila, can you come up with a sentence about her? Alila, not there. I have, I have uh, tired. Uh, he have been tired. Okay. Tired. She has been tired. Okay. Can we make a better sentence, Franklin? Why do you think she's she's tired? Why do you think she's tired, Franklin? Cansado. Aha. Uh -huh. But why do you think she's tired? What has she been doing? Running. Aha. Uh -huh. Blanquita, can you tell me the whole sentence? She, aha. Uh -huh. She has been running. Excellent. She has been running, maybe on the marathon, all right? So she's been running for a long time. Thank you. She has been running. Thank you, Blanca. Thank you, Franklin. Very good. Next one. Aha, uh -huh. Sofia or Maria, who wants to do it? I want you guys to participate here. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, the street. On the, picture. Uh -huh. <laughs> the street has been closing. Ah, okay. Can we improve that sentence? Well, okay. Think about this. Why do you think the street has closed, or it's been closed? Why? Repair. 
Okay, tell me the whole sentence. Who has been repairing the road? Who has been repairing it? District. Uh -huh, but who repaired it? The men. Okay, so the men, continue. The men uh, has been repairing the street. Sure, okay. If you have it, or they have been working on the road, but repairing is oh, fine. Okay. That's okay. No, that's fine. Repairing, very good. We're following the uh, structure, which is good. All right, very nice. Ah, what about this one, guys? Who wants to do that one? Carla, Joanna, you want to try? Or Carla Beatriz, or anybody. Uh, Giovanni, uh, Vero, a ver, like Maria, uh -huh, finish, go ahead. Finish, uh -huh. uh, finish to eat. Okay, finish eat. all right, and who, who ate? We. Uh, ah, very good, we, uh -huh. we. We have been eating. Very good. All right. In this case, they have been eating. That's okay. All right. My you dinner. have been eating. Yeah. <laughs> they have been eating my dinner. Oh, no. All right. Very good. Next one here. I have Bart. Uh huh. <laughs> Did you read what he says? I will use Google before asking a dumb question. <laughs> All right. That's not the case here. He, okay. has, he uh -huh. has been, he has been grading. Yeah, he has been writing. He has been writing on the board. Very good. All right. Nice. All right. He's making lines. All right. Very good. This one. Uh huh. I have I have been uh, start up. <laughs> start up. I ha okay. What is he doing right now? Wake up. Okay. Uh so uh, you can say he has, or whatever he, he has been wake up uh, early he has been wake up or he has been waking up waking up waking thank up. you waking. at what time look at the time he has been waking up at what time uh eight o'clock yeah about that all right very nice okay or he's been sleeping that's okay doesn't okay. matter but the idea is that you're using the right structure okay, okay. we're gonna do two more let's see oh my goodness <laughs> What has Bart been doing, guys? Bart, he has been uh, <laughs> Omero. a drink. Omero, Omero, been, Omero. Yeah, Omero. Omero, <laughs> Omero, he has been drink. He has been drink or he has been drinking? Be, drinking. Excellent. Drinking. Yeah, a lot of beers. Look, he's very um, happy. <laughs> All right, next one. He's been drinking. All right. Oh, look at this. Before, after. Can you believe these girls? Can this happen? <laughs> yes, oh, Exa says yes. All right, very good, Exa. Nice, of course, yeah? Very good. Okay, let's see. What is the sentence? He has been doing exercise or he has been, Yeah, he has been like training or he has been doing exercises or he has been on a diet. All right, very good. He's been exercising. Great. Okay, one more. The last one. Okay. What do you think? Can you actually see that picture well? Kind of. <laughs> she uh, has visiting. She has been visiting a beach. A beach. beach. All right. Beach. Um, okay, the beach. Very good. Any other sentence that you can think of? She has been walking on the beach. Excellent. She has been walking on the sun. Right. Very good. Very good. On the beach. Very good. She has been walking on the beach or on the sun. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this right now. All right, do you have any questions? No questions? Remember yes, that? Yes, yeah. oh, I have, a, yes, I have, a, uh, in the, um, in the verbs, uh, no use with continuous, is the same structure, right? Like for the, the present perfect simple, Gabby? Uh-huh, no, like uh, belong, con, this, that. Uh huh. Yeah, it's the same as the other one that you cannot use those. The the difference is no use ing, right? That's right. That's right. Okay. Because they are stated verbs. Yes, Gabby. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, uh, any other questions besides the one that Gabby just asked? No. All right. You understand the structure. You understand the usage. All right, very good. Yes, I understand. Excellent, very good. Okay, remember that you have to use have or has 
plus been plus the verb in ing, which is the present, uh, pr uh, the present participle. Okay, that's the structure here that we need to remember. Okay, guys, uh, we have like about 15 minutes. I need to know if everybody finished the story yesterday. Did you guys finish your stories? Yeah, no, so so? Kind of? No. Okay, so you know what? This is what we're going to do. Let's go right now to, ah, but you're not going to be with those same groups. That's the problem. Uh -huh. Oh, no, that's not nice. <laughs> um, I were with Sophia. Okay, but you were not able to finish uh, yesterday. Kind of. I mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, let me see. How can we do this? Someone told me that they were finished. Someone I know that was finished. Uh, me, I think, I think uh, it's finished. It's short, but it's short, but it's finished. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Okay, what what about? Let's see. Let's we can read what we have. I mean, doesn't matter if we're, we're not finished, okay? Because like, if I send you right now to the groups and I start sending you with the right person that you were working with yesterday, it will take forever. All right, and it's gonna be time to go. All right, so let's let's see, like read what you have from yesterday. But before that, guys, just to remind you now that there are like a lot of people now, please, I need you to work on the platform. There are some people that have not even begun section one. Okay, yesterday I saw that report. Can you please, 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 please work on the platform? And if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ex and Sophia, can you can you, either of you read um, your story from yesterday? Okay. Okay. Uh, I I start. Okay. Um, we talk. We wanna talk about the city picture. Mm -hmm. Um. Well. We wrote. I am Susan. Were swimming while Adela was playing her guitar. And suddenly Kevin appeared when a taxi was passing in from the park. Next to him, a lady walked her dog. On the other side of the street, Paul was buying a magazine. But unfortunately, he didn't find the money to pay. Miraculously, the magazine seller gave the magazine to Paul for free. Oh, cool. On the corner, Anne was riding her bicycle. While strangely, her friend John was singing a song on the street. In the park, Dimitri was calling to Claire, but sadly, Claire left his cell phone home. Luckily, Claire was walking to park when she saw that Mr. Cardoso and Miss King was talking on the train. On we're the train. talking. We're talking on the train. Well, I was talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. And finish. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, guys. Super nice. You have a 10. Yay. Very nice. Super Exa and Sophia. Very good. Yeah, bravo. Very good. Uh, someone else. It doesn't matter if you did not finish. I just want to see. I just want to read it. Okay. I mean, I just want to listen to it so you read it. Teacher, yes, and yeah. what we Carla, Beatrice. Okay, very good. Uh, which uh, picture uh, did a you little story. Okay, which picture did uh, you choose airport? yesterday? At uh, the airport. Let me just put it uh, here, just like airport. Franklin did. Hold on. The airport one. This one? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, go ahead. Okay, while I was working in my turn last week, a flight arrived from Canada and this is and this is that I saw. Suddenly a lot of people got out of today's door. All of them were expecting their suitcase. Mm. When surprisingly, Lisa's family came with the roses. Miraculously, mirac miraculously, miraculously, yes. Miraculously, the Mr. Robot found the, his batteries while the cowboy trying to cut his horse. <laughs> he was trying to catch his horse, okay? Yes. All right. Strangely, strangely, the dog didn't need the apples of Aguilar family while was flying. Okay. I think I'm lucky because while I was working, I was seeing happiness in people. For oh, people that's nice. Very good. 
All right, nice, thank you, very good. All right, you see, very nice. Thank you, uh, Ileana, you work with Carlita, you said, right? Oh, Car Beatriz. Carla Beatriz, very good, thank you. All right, nice, yeah, bravo, girls. Very good, another story. It doesn't matter if you're not finished, I wanna hear another story. No, no more stories? What happened? Only two stories done. I know that Brenda and Gabby were not in class yesterday. Dalila wasn't either. All right, but what about the rest of you guys? Giovanni's group, who did you work with, Giovanni? Giovanni, where are you, Giovanni? <laughs> All right, okay. I don't know, anybody else with another story? No? Mm. Disappointing. <laughs> All right, that's okay. All right, in case you wanna share these stories later, it's fine, but I would like you to actually do that exercise, okay? Because it, I mean, that's how you practice here. Okay, so if we don't have um, any other stories to work with or to listen to, I'm gonna share this with you now. So just to wrap it up, okay, guys, just give me a second here. Just give me a second. Okay, I just want you to work on this exercise. Can you see this exercise right now? Yes. yes. All Thank right, you. so uh, we're not going to go to any groups right now because of the time. All right, so let's just stay here quietly by yourselves. Try to fill this in as much as possible. And then I'll stop like about 728 so I can take attendance. Okay, so work right now on this. Okay, we're not going to go to any groups. We're staying here today and just finish it up. Try to do it by yourself and let's see what you can come up with. Okay, so you may start working on that right now. Buenos días. Ah, ya. Ah, ok.
I'll give you like one more minute and then we can check a couple and then I'll take attendance. All right, guys, let's see. Uh, number, we're not going to do number two because it's already done for us. Number two A, what do you have for that as an answer? Is Jim, no, has Jim been doing exercise? And what would it be for B? Yes, he? Is he, he? He is. He is. Uh, he has. Yes, he has. He we're has. gonna check. Don't worry about it because tomorrow we're gonna see that. Like that. That's part of the class tomorrow, all right? Yes, he has. He needs a rest, all right? Uh, number three. Thank you. Who wants to do number three? It has. It has it been has raining been for rain. several days. It has been. It has been raining for several days. Very good. Just like in El Salvador. Number four. Uh huh. I found the yes. I. Because I have not studied hard. All right. I have not been studying hard. All right. I have not been studying hard. Very good. Number five. We have been driving for two hours. Excellent. We have been driving for two hours. Number six. Tracy and Tom have been playing tennis for one hour. Excellent. Very nice. Number seven. Anybody? I am sorry. I am late. Have you been waiting? a long time have you been waiting have you have you been waiting a long time all right no i what's the answer no oh. i no i haven't or no i have not very good i know i haven't been very good the last one we're gonna check number eight and then i'll take attendance where where, where have you been, been spending, spending your summer holiday? summer holiday? All right, make sure it's have, right? Where have you been spending your summer holiday? All right, very good. So number nine, 10, 11, and 12, we're gonna check them tomorrow, like just as a review of the class. All right, guys, I'm taking attendance right now. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Veronica Beatriz Celso. I saw Vero. Where is she? <laughs> Where are you, Veronica? All right, very good, thank you. All right, then we have Osmani Saúl de León. Present. Very good. Uh, Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. She's not in. Very good. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Carla Joana Martínez. Carlita. All right, very good. Thank you. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Okay, thank you. Um, Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Dalila Estela Silva Moran. Present. Thank you. Maria Araceli Gonzalez Flores. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Uh, Sinia Elizabeth Mejia. Present. Thank you, Sinia. Sofia Guadalupe Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Molina Martinez. All right. Uh, Claudia Iliana Casun. Present. Brenda Lucia Rosales Guzman. Thank you. Uh, Karen Lizette Reyes. All right, she's not in. Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. Present. Excellent. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. All right. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Veronica. I have it. I have you here. Don't worry about it. Thank you. So thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Please work on the platform. All right. Uh, if you have any questions or if there is something uh, like a mistake or something on the platform, let me know so we can correct it. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Thank you, too. Bye. 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 Thank you.